What up, chosen ones? It's G Wells with them, and them are you. Which are the chosen ones, baby? Not chosen to serve the chosen ones. Hey, look, chosen ones. It's a new day, a new world. It's a new world order for the chosen ones, for the ones that are connected, the ones that are guided, the ones that are children of the Most High. It's a new day, and our methods of connecting with the Most High is changing in this new world that's coming. Now, I ain't trying to step on nobody, but the truth just got to be saved. The Most High got to get his message out. And whoever's the willing vessel to get that message out, he will use it. And I'm saying like this, the ways, the previous ways and methods of connecting with the Most High is done. We have finished that age. That age is done. The work, the Most High is literally, is literally operating through his people. No more need for you to use candles. No more need for you to sit and pray all day. No more do you need of pastors and preachers and all this other stuff. That stuff never worked anyway. Most of those methodologies came from the old days when the Christians had to hide. They had to practice their uh, relationship with the Most High. They had to commune with the Most High in the dark, behind the scenes. But this new world that is coming, you shall speak a thing and that thing shall appear. You shall bring the unseen into the seen as quick as you have said it. See, if you look at the word, if you look at the Bible, you got the Old Testament and then the New Testament. And then now we have the new world. See, the Old Testament, they had to make all the sacrifices with the animals in order to get in right standing with God. They had to do all the rituals and all the, the uh, sacrificial, sacrificial lambs and all these different things with the animals, with the blood and all this in order to commune with the Most High. Then, the New Testament, Jesus came. He set things straight where all you had to do is have faith and believe that whatever you believe wholeheartedly, it shall come to pass. And at the end of Jesus' stint, he told the people that the ones that are coming after me shall do greater works. What is that greater works? The greater works is that now we have this simultaneously instant power in this new world where God is going to move instantly, simul like as soon as you say it, as soon as you put it out there, manifestation. It's more of the stereotypical name of it, but the spiritual realm and the physical realm are becoming one. See, all the witchcraft and all this other stuff, think about this. If the low vibes, the people in the dark, they gotta do all these things to conjure up all this energy to do bad. What makes you think you have what makes you think you have to do the same thing with the lighting of candles? and doing all these rituals in order to connect with the Most High when the Most High lives within you. The power to the real, I'm talking to the real true ones now. I ain't talking about you have steppers or you, you don't, or the people that's really not connected. Because you can be religious and not connected. I'm talking about the ones that really have a personal connection, relationship with the Most High. The Most High is giving you full power, full control. This is the new world. The ones that are responsible, the ones that have overcame, the ones that have 
pretty much set things in motion for us to even get to this point of this new world coming? Why do you think everything is being exposed? Why do you think everything, the veil is being removed and everything is being seen now? Everything that was done in the dark is being seen. Because those old ways, those old methodologies, everything, the way things were done is being eradicated. We're literally going back to the Garden of Eden. In the Garden of Eden, everybody wanted, oh, it's, it, was in, it was over here. No, Garden of Eden is within you, where you walk and commune with God daily. Every step you take, you have no need to pray. You don't need to pray because you just open your mouth and talk to God. And things will happen instantly. Things will happen instantly. Ain't no more wait. If you got the power, you got the power. That's how you gonna know the true, true, true ones of God versus the ones that are not of God. Because they gotta do all these rituals like candles and saging and all this stuff. When God's protection is 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 a constant. You ain't gotta you ain't gotta try to uh do all these things to try to get God to move on something. Because it's just going to happen. All this book knowledge stuff, is all this book knowledge crap is, is out the door. Because God is going to be giving you step-by-step -step downloads as you take your steps. Every step you take, you're going to get a down. God is literally going to talk to you just like I'm talking to y'all right now. You ain't got to pray to ask someone for an answer, for a question you have. You just ask the question and you'll receive the answer right then and there. This is why people are losing their mind. This is why religion folks are, are losing their mind. The power is no longer in them. The true keepers that encapsulate, encapsulate the spirit of the Most High is going to be able to display their power right on sight, right on the scene. That's the new world. That's the new world. Why do you think all the low vibes is getting eradicated? They get put on notice. They get put out of position. Because they got to go back to their rightful position, which is at the bottom. Just as you see the craziness and the, and, the, and, the, and the wickedness put on display every day, like it's normal, you're gonna see uh, miracles put on display, chosen ones performing miracles, healing folks on display right then and there. It's the new world. It's the new world that is spoken of in the New Testament that has been prophesied to come. It's here, 2024. What well, we got like five more months left? Things are still unfolding. Things are still revealing itself. The new world is upon us. And as we see, the old one is crashing right in front of us. So the, what the, the key points to take from this message is you're not going to be able to fake it till you make it. You're not going to be, be able to sit here and pray all day and speak and talk as if you're chosen, as if you're a child of God. Because now we're going to have full power. And the ones that don't have the power it's either you don't have it or you have it. No longer can you hide in religion. No longer can you hide in little groups. You can talk the talk, but the power is your stamp of approval. The miracles that you perform is going to be your stamp of approval by the Most High. Not 
if you pray all day. Not if you can burn sage and you got candles, we walk in your house, you got crosses all over your damn house. That's the old way. That's the, see, you can hide and fake it in that, but you can't fake it no more because the power is what's going to show and prove. The power is what's going to be your indicator of who you are. The power is taking precedence over religious rituals. What makes you think that someone that don't serve the Most High, someone that don't reverence the Most High, that serves the lower self, the lower nature, the lower vibration, the darker side of things, they have to do all these rituals and stuff. And then the one that's connected to the true living power got to do the same things they got to do to connect to the power. What makes you think those two individuals are on the same playing field? They have to do it because they don't have the power within. You are, if you are really chosen, you ain't got to do none of that. You ain't got to try to conjure up protection and, and pray for protection. It's there. You just keep walking in your purpose. You don't have to worry about anything outside of what God got you focusing on when you really got the power. When you ain't really got the power, you gotta worry about this person coming up and you, you gotta worry about, oh, I gotta pray for this, oh, I gotta pray for that. No, you don't. You just focus on what God told you to focus on and you do your stuff and you keep elevating. You ain't gotta worry about protection. You ain't gotta worry about praying for money money rituals of money all this protect money of uh, protection protection rituals you all that stuff is out the door oh i need to pray to get connected more i need to connect to god i need to pray a little bit no you're gonna walk with god and eat which is within you ain't gonna be no ain't, there is no separation for one for one who truly has the power and is a vessel that encapsulates the spirit of God. This is how we're going to know the real ones from the fake ones. Because the religious phase is no longer valid in this new world. It's going to be solely based on the power. This is why these people are shook. This is why they, the Eve, the dark side, they still trying to do all this spell work to keep the illusion that you need to do what they're doing in order to connect to God. No, you don't. God is within you. You ain't got to walk around praying for protection all day. Jesus even said the ones that's coming after me going to do even greater things. So if, if Jesus had to pray and do all these things, then we doing greater things than he's going to do. The true connected ones that have the power. This is a message that is provided to you by Big G, the Most High, the Almighty. Hey, if it rub you the wrong way, I'm sorry. But your crucifix, your candles, your sage, all that, throw it away. It's useless unless you don't truly have the power. <laughs> unless you can't call a demon out of a situation or an individual. Or unless you truly can't perform miracles. So you have to do all these outwardly things to try to conjure up something that's not already. You ain't got to conjure up something that's within you. If you got it, you got it, baby. Y'all know what it is. G. Wells with them. Y'all know what it is. To all the true ones that truly got the power, know what I'm saying. They know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what it is. <laughs> it's over. It's over. I'm going to keep trying to beat this. If you got it, you got it. You don't need to get upgrades. You don't need to 
You don't need to do the rituals. You don't need none of that. Ditch the witch. You don't need none of that. If you got it, you got it. I can't stress that enough. If you with them, you with them. You're not going to be able to fake it. And like I told y'all, this season is the season of staying in your lane. Whatever you gain, listen, if you, whatever lane you've been in, for leading up to this point, you stuck in it. Judgment has been called. Because you have to reap the harvest that you have sown. So wherever lane, whichever lane you're in, you're in it. We, we're, we're, we're already in the tunnel. You can't switch lanes in the tunnel. Two lane tunnel, you can't switch lanes. It is what it is. I'm just a messenger. You gotta stay in your lane, baby. You gotta reap the harvest that you sown going into this new world. either gonna survive it or you not. <laughs> you either got the power or you don't. You either blessed or you're not. You either can perform miracles or you can't. You either can speak things into existence or you can't. Y'all know what it is. All praises and blessings to Big J. I bless God and he blessed me back. I praise God. He praised me back. I give him the glory. He give me the glory back. <laughs> Y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it is. Too blessed.